We're here today at Ferry Tech, and uh, it is unbelievable what I see in this room. As you all know, BC's got a phenomenal education system. Uh, you folks are part of it, your teachers are definitely part of it. As a government, we're investing about $75 million to improve training facilities and ensure the availability of technical teachers, particularly with trade certification. And a skilled workforce is the foundation of a strong economy. We want to increase the number of uh, students going directly into the high school, from high school to trades by 50% in the coming years, because we recognize that we're going to need you young men and women to fill that void. She's also been with me in the odd motor shop for three years now? Three? Yeah, so it's been a really good experience at the moment. She's going to be pulling the oil pan off of this uh, sort of a... Oh, it's uh, so amazing. Like, I learn all these things yeah. that I would never get a chance to. Like, my car broke down on top of a mountain during the summer, and I actually knew what to do to fix it. Like, it's amazing actually being able to do the hands-on work. It's just something I wouldn't be able to do without these facilities. I'm actually going straight into a welding program after high school, which is going to get me a job right away, which is kind of fantastic. The automotive training program we are highlighting here today is a great example of the programs that you folks need, but I think all around the province. After an intensive 20-week period, 16 students from the South Island will take the auto service technician program. Successful students will receive secondary and post-secondary credits along with their level one of their apprenticeship trades branch off into different kind of things so there's tons of jobs to do tons of different places in the work for field in the trade so I'm really happy that our school offers you know all this stuff uh, to do you know there's not very many schools that uh, offer auto body and we're really lucky to have it here. You know skills uh, trades are absolutely essential in our society going forward there's a huge number of people that will be retiring in the next 20 years we need young men and women to fill those jobs they pay well they provide great opportunities to work not just in the uh, capital regional district here but across British Columbia and if we can get young men and women thinking about going into that uh, profession uh, whether it be plumbing whether it be electricity whether it be woodworking or etc there are so many opportunities for people to actually have you know a meaningful jobs, raise a family, buy a house and live where they want to live.